Uh, if you're going to use an edit poly uh, modifier instead of like a right click edit poly here in the right click menu, uh, you're susceptible to edit poly shortcuts. And in this case, if I hit R on my keyboard, not R, um, E to bring up my rotation tool, it gives me the extrude thing. You got to be careful about that then. So you get something that looks like this. And oh boy. I guess it could be neat if. You know, you're trying to do something like that. However, we are not. So I'm going to go here and rotate it a bit. And maybe a bit like this. All right, so anyway, just, you know, you get some unique pieces of debris. So we have these. I'm going to select them all. We're going to group. We'll call it debris um, zero zero one or if you're bare grills you would call it debris <laughs> this one kind of looks like a glacier um, or if you're bare grills it kind of looks like a glacier I love that guy he's always so excited about almost being dead you know very strange man but very entertaining Okay, so now that we have that, we have our debris. I'm going to exit the isolation mode. I'm sorry, I keep this thing off the screen. When you hit a Alt Q on your keyboard, it brings this little guy up, and I keep it on the bottom left hand of my right screen, so it's not in my way. So anyway, I'm just going to click on that, and it takes me out of that. And uh, see, I'm trying to zoom a little bit by a little bit, but um, it's giving me big jumps now. So I'm just going to hit Z on my keyboard. And now I'll be back. It centers around whatever's selected. So we have our debris. Good. And I'm going to bring back up my uh, my P flow uh, UI. And I'm going to put in. In a situation like this, um, you would want to rename this stuff. You want to call it maybe initial hit. Something like that. So we'll put in a... I'm not going to rename anything. You got the gist of that. It's very important to do that, though, because if you're not working alone, if other people need to see what you've done, it's good to label, and you can even leave notes in there. Uh, just keep things organized. It makes it easier for everyone else. So I'm going to put in a shape uh, instance, wherever that is. There it is. You are going to go right below speed, shape instance, select the none box here, and you want to click on your group of debris. Make sure debris 001 or whatever you called it is lit up now and there. And you want to click on group members because that's a part of a group, and now I'm also going to hide that. And by the way, we should be working on layers. We're not too bad. It's just a quick uh, in and out tutorial on these three things. So now, instead of lines, we can switch it to geometry. And we will see that we now have our debris. Pretty, pretty awesome. But our debris is kind of weak looking. It isn't doing shit, but uh, coasting. And it's not moving. Or what I mean by moving, rotating. It's not spinning. There's a couple of things we could do for that. We can put in a rotation operator. These things always elude me. I don't know why I can never find them. There it is. I want to put that right below my shape. Which means at least they're not all at the same angle now. But, um... They still aren't spinning, and they're not going to spin with our rotate. Our rotate I dropped in so we can put in, we can look at speed, space, follow, which is very cool. That means it will turn depending on what angle it's moving at, which direction it's going in. Focus on these ones in the center here. As they reach the zenith of, like, uh, the, the, fl the flight, I don't know what they call that, the trajectory, um, they turn and rotate towards the ground because now that's the way they're moving. Um, we're not going to use that. I just want to show you that because it's one of my favorite things. That it's very, very handy for certain things, just not this. <coughs> so I'm going to delete my rotation.
Oh, you know what? Um, just hit Control Z. We'll put that rotation back in. Uh, it's not working. All right, so um, everyone knows about Control Z, don't they? <laughs> I was at my grandmother's house. Uh, uh, it was so popular. You know, I, I spilled a couple of orange juice, and she was like, "Oh Lord, you gotta hit Control Z to undo the spill." Get it? A hold for applause. <laughs> Obviously, I made that story up. I was just kidding. My grandmother's dead. So, okay, we'll put the um, rotation back in, right below shape. Both of them, by the way, gone. Random 3D is fine, and I'm going to put spin in there also. The rotation is to set the initial, not, you know, all aligned debris, and the spin to obviously give the pieces some spin. So that's what we got. I'm going to play with the spin a little bit. Um, 360, of course, double to 720. That is what they could spin by. By 360, which means they could spin all the way. Um, we could have three full rotations at the highest and then one full rotation at the lowest. So we have that. And... Now what I'll do is uh, I will unhide. Oops, where did you go? I will unhide our debris, the regular debris, and uh, just copy that. I'll make sure it's called debris zero zero two. Well, I don't even have to call it anything because I'm going to ungroup it. Ungroup. And um, again, I'll solo that. Control or Alt-Q brings up this thing again. We just talked about that. <laughs> 